Welcome back. Recently, I received a comment on my subprogram nesting video asking me if I would create a video to demonstrate how to mill a tapered hole to 30 or 45 degrees. I've waited a bit before answering this just in case this is someone's assignment as I do not want to do their work, but I'm happy to help. To demonstrate how to do this, I will create three videos. Each one will show a different solution to the problem. Since nesting of subprograms was requested, I will use a nested subprogram in this first solution. To demonstrate this technique, I'll program a 3 8 flat bottom end mill to cut this hole here. The part thickness is 3 quarters of an inch, the hole is through the part, and the diameter of the hole of the bottom of the part is half inch, and the taper per side is 10 degrees. One way to cut the taper would be to use a tapered end mill. Taper end mills come in the following taper per side angles, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 30. However, this method will work for any angle. I'll start the program assuming the hole has been spot drilled and drilled through with a 31 64 drill. This will allow me to program the 3 8 end mill to feed through the hole and cut the taper from the bottom to the top. Cutting in this manner will minimize the chance that the chips will be recut. I'll use NC plot to simulate the code and explain the program. I'll step the tool through the code while explaining. First, I'll move the tool so the bottom of the tool is 25 thou below the bottom of the part. So here we can see the tool is now 25 thou below the bottom of our part. Next, I'll use circular interpolation to open up the hole to a half inch diameter. So I'll arc on, go around, and arc off back to the center. Since I'm not using cutter compensation, the center of the tool will need to follow 1 16th radius. Once the hole is opened up to half inch diameter, to cut the taper, I'll program the tool to move up a small amount, 10 thou then cut a circle and then repeat the process until the tool is out of the hole. Every time the tool moves up, a larger circle will be cut. This will leave small steps on the walls, giving the appearance of a smooth surface. Let's examine this code. After the half inch hole is cut, I reposition the tool flush with the bottom of the part. Here. Then I set up common variables to hold values which will change at each z level and equations to calculate the radius. Variable 100 is the step up amount. 101 calculates the change in radius and 102 is the new radius to cut. Now that all the variables I need have been declared, subprogram 1234 will be repeated 75 times. This will move the tool from negative 0.75 to z0. Each time the 123 subprogram is run, before it is repeated, subprogram 1235 here will be called. This subprogram will calculate the next radius to cut. Let's examine the code line by line using the show variables option. To see this, I'll move up here to the ribbon bar, right click, and turn on the variable display. Just bring it back onto this monitor. And over here we have the variables. Move this window a little bit more so we can see the split screen. So now I'm going to start by clearing the variables. I'll say yes. And we'll step through the program. So here we'll see each variable as they're set and calculated and watch how they change and how that affects the code. So I'm going to start stepping the program through. So here again, we're arcing on with our end mill, cutting the hole so it's one half inch. We'll go back to center, position the bottom of the tool with the bottom of the part, and now we're gonna set up our variables. So 100 has been set to 10 thou. That'll be the amount the tool steps up each time. Then 101 is calculated. That'll be for a 10 thou step up, what's the change in radius? So 102 will be the new radius to cut, and we're going to start at a 16th plus 101, the amount we just calculated for the 10th house step over. Why a 16th? Because we have a half inch hole and a 3 8 cutter. 
So the radial difference is 1 16th of an inch. So I'll click Step. It'll read the subprogram, which is now going to be repeat 75 times, and we'll jump into the subprogram. So the first step is to incrementally move the tool up 10 pound. We can see that's changed here. And then our next step is to arc into the cut. Now we're going to take a full circle. We'll arc back to the center. And then we're going to go into subprogram 1235. In 1235, we're going to calculate the next radius to cut. Because we're stepping up 10 thou each time, the incremental change in radius will be constant, 101. So we're going to take what's currently the radius and we're going to add the change in radius and that will be the next radius we cut. So I'll click next. It'll go back into the sub program and it'll repeat. So it's going to each time recalculate the variables and make a new cut. So as I step through, we can see the variables changing and we can see the circle gets slightly larger, which gives a tapered effect to our walls. There will be small steps here as we saw earlier, and we can control that step size by changing our step up amount. So now I'll just let it play and we can watch how the variables change. To create a smoother surface, I'll need to change the value stored in variable 100. So if I cut this in half to 5 thou, I'll also need to change the number of repeats. So 0.75, the depth of the hole, needs to be equally divisible by this increment. So I've cut it in half, I need to double these. I'll change it to 150 and I'll refresh the plot and we can see there are a lot more lines. And if I play it from there, once again, we can see we have significantly smaller steps, 5 thou. So the end result will be a smoother surface finish. The other option I have, I'm just going to change this back to 10 thou cuts and 75 repeats, is to change the angle. So if I wanted a different angle, say 25 degrees, I could put that in, recalculate it, and I have a different angle. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to cut a tapered hole, but have the program calculate how many times to repeat the code to cut the hole. This will allow for easier control over the surface finish. Thanks for watching.